a scenario that has come up often and I know Alex you don't like me for me to call it mold it's fungus whatever mm -hmm. um, is when air conditioning units get replaced at the word 20 years old they get replaced with a new air conditioning unit and all of a sudden it feels a little bit like like muggy muggy inside the house you feel sticky um all of a sudden you have this growth on windows on the roof and it's a new air conditioning unit first everybody always thinks it's water intrusion which later on it's not um what can you talk can you tell us a little bit why you have to make sure the person installing the air conditioning unit knows what they're doing and installing this the right um, it, it, power for the house it comes up to commissioning and uh, we have data now we have tools now that it's been out since the 80s it's just it's come we could use it better now with data online that we actually could uh, figure out what's the right size equipment for your house with how many people you want per room and all that and why I say that is because if you go too big that's what you're gonna have is this and it happens all the time oh metal on cinco Ale, metal on cinco what's gonna happen is is that unit is never going to run. You need to run at least 20 minutes before it starts draining water. That water is your humidity. And that's when you get that cold air and it starts feeling nice in your house, when you're bringing down the humidity and the, and the, and the sensible what you feel at the same time. You want to feel comfortable. You need to have a dry house. So when I've been seeing and you've been sending me pictures and she's like, Alex, what, what's happening here? I'm like, you have a too big of a unit. You're turning off and on in five minutes. You're not going to do anything in five minutes. The unit needs to run at least 10 to 15 minutes just to start draining water. So that means that's when it starts taking out water out of the air and you feel comfortable. So a lot of times, even on the right size of the unit, it's more commissioning. Yeah, any, like I said before, is you can put the unit in, that's great. But if you don't know how to turn it on and check you know, the right settings, make sure it's, it's working perfect with the right tools, you know, you're not gonna be comfortable until we show up and then I have to do everything that they didn't do and then I show them like, yes, your equipment could work, Sometimes it's too big, and I could kind of make it work. I can't promise you 100% all the time, but... But the cheapest solution is to replace it with the right... Yeah. Uh, I want to well. give it to you simpler, because <laughs> I am the same, it's more thorough. <laughs> I'm more mechanical. If, if you turn on your air conditioning, and you feel cold right away, and the unit shuts off, and then when you shut off, you feel hot, muggy, you have an oversized unit. Yeah. Good. And that's a simple way of knowing if you have the correct unit or you don't have the correct unit and, and I've, I've been seeing it like sorry dad for mm. jumping in front of my old man <laughs> <laughs> what's happening is everybody oh i'm gonna put high impact windows let's put a high impact window. and jenny shows me the picture oh we got new high impact windows and what happens is now you do, you're not sucking in that filtration that air from outside anymore so the house is tight right so now you're you're also seeing you know dust coming from your, your high hats if you're not sealed so that's it, you, you remove that lot of that load from outdoors so your unit's already too big. And then you're gonna go bigger, then this starts happening. And then it starts sucking more air from every crevice you can. And then you got mildew growing, fungi in the closet. You know, you gotta, you gotta run, have run time for it to cool in the right size of the equipment. So I'm gonna give you a better example. <laughs> yeah. Of, uh, oh God, this is competition. Who can give the best example? Let's do it. If you live in South Florida and you got AC problems, these two dudes are the ones you gotta call.